Okay, we're uh, in Autodesk Fusion 360. This is a modern solid modeling uh, package, 3D modeling. Uh, it's very simple and should be very approachable for anyone with any, uh, any 3D CAD experience. And I'd say it's pretty quick to pick up for anyone without. So uh, for preparing files for Origin, this is a, a very straightforward uh, tool. Primarily because we have created this plugin which enables us to uh, export data directly from here with uh, basically one click exports. Um, so I'd encourage you to take a look at this. Uh, now I've turned on the origin. Uh, this is the 3D space origin. So this point here is zero in X, Y, and Z. Um, one more thing of note I've actually, uh, the default may not be Z uh, up. Um, so up here there's a preference uh, where I've told it to make the default modeling Z up. So if there's anything different on your version, uh, that's it. So uh, this is the view cube. This enables me to orbit around. So if ever you're wanting to find your way around uh, your, your file, uh, the view cube is a great way to, to navigate. Um, now, we are going to import and SVG. So uh, this is a common thing that you may want to mess with. So finding an SVG online and then preparing it for uh, origin. So we're going to create the actual 3D shape we intend to cut uh, in, in Fusion and then uh, use the plugin to export it. So uh, we have a new file here. I've turned on the origin and I'm going to tell it to be inches. Inch. Uh, so now I'm going to select a face and I'm going to create a sketch. You'll notice there's no sketches down here yet. So I'll go sketch, create sketch. Uh, you'll notice our view cube has reoriented to the top. So we're looking straight down on a plane, which when I highlight it, you'll see it says it's the XY plane. Uh, we've created a new sketch called sketch one and we're in sketch mode. Uh, so that means we're on the right path. Um, so now we're going to try to insert a, uh, an SVG. Um, so in this sketch, it already knows what plane we're on. Uh, if you hadn't already created a sketch, it would do it now automatically for you. So here is the request for an SVG file. So I'm going to go and find one of those online. Uh, this is called the Noun Project. So I've signed up to this. Uh, there's a bunch of free uh, Creative Commons uh, SVG files that are actually already pretty much the color uh, we need to cut them on origin. So uh, I'd uh, encourage you to take a look here for nice simple shapes to be able to cut out if you need to uh, embellish anything. So uh, here's a rocket. Um, it's made by Nina and uh, we're going to download it as an SVG. So this is the vector file we're after, not a uh, raster image. Um, we'll describe that elsewhere. So we'll download it with uh, Creative Commons license. And as a result, we'll, uh, we'll mention Nina and give her a, a thank you. So here's the file. Um, open. Uh, so it's now placed this file in, our, uh, in that plane, on that sketch. Um, we don't know the scale of it, so we're going to deal with that later. I can't like, measure it at the moment, so uh, we'll just go OK to this. And now I'm going to zoom in. Uh, one thing of note, uh, these lines I can't manipulate because th they actually show up green when I import them like this. Uh, that means they're fixed. So if I right click on a line, there's fixed unfixed here. Basically fixed means, uh, yeah, you can't drag them, they're sort of locked. We can unfix them all or we can just extrude it as is and uh, I'm going to scale it when it's, a, uh, when it's an actual solid object. So I'm going to make a, a 3D form first, then scale it. Um, I'm quickly going to get a measurement of this so that we know uh, sort of how much we want to scale it by. So I selected the measure tool, and then you just need to click twice, and it draws that little line and tells me uh, we've got 0.869 inches is uh, from that point to that point. So uh, I'm just sort of throwing out numbers. I don't really care what size it is. I want it to be, say, four and a half inches, something like that. Um, so I'm going to delete this text, uh, and then we're going to extrude this object, then we're going to scale it up. Um, so I've selected, I'm still in sketch mode, uh, and I'm going to select this, this is called a profile. So uh, the moment you have a solid shape 
in, in Fusion. Uh, so it's like a, it has a border uh, that's closed. It will create this uh, profile, which means I can select this area and extrude it. So you'll see this is the same. Uh, I, can, I can manipulate these independently or holding down shift and selecting, uh, I can extrude them together. So uh, we'll actually give this a go. We'll, we'll extrude them both. Um, so I'm gonna go here, extrude. And you'll notice it says I have two profiles selected. So that's that inside one and the outside one. Um, and it's asking me how far I want to extrude it. So I'm gonna go 0.5. Uh, if I don't give it a unit, it's gonna to default to my scene units. So that's fine. And it's telling us it's going to create a new body. So we'll see what happens down here when we accept this. Okay. Uh, so first up uh, of interest, my sketch has been hidden. And I'm no, I'm no longer in sketch mode. That little uh, indicator that I was in sketch mode is gone. Um, so I'm going to hide the origin. I'm going to open up this new folder that's popped up, which is called bodies. So uh, by selecting this, I can see I've made bodies one. Uh, and one more thing of note, bodies one was generated with this extrude function. So uh, this is our history. Uh, we'll get more into this later. We can go in and manipulate things that have happened in the past. Uh, based on that. Um, so collapse that. Now I'm going to name this body. Uh, so spaceship. Uh, this is just good practice in general. Whenever you make a shape in a uh, 3D package, it's a good idea to name it um, so that when you are browsing later, uh, things make sense. Also, uh, our plugin actually, if I was to export this as is, it would take that name. Uh, for the SVG file I export. Um, okay, so now I'm going to make that little window in the top. So uh, we'll turn on our uh, sketch again. Um, so I'm going to edit this extrude feature here. Uh, so this is kind of a, one of the, when things get really interesting with parametric modeling. Um, we can start to do things back in time and uh, I'm going to change the height of this. So I'm going to make it go down instead of up. And then with my uh, sketch visible, so with the uh, little portal selected here, I've selected that profile. You'll see it's in my sketch, uh, hiding that. You know, there's no, there's no detail in our 3D model, but it exists in our sketch. So we're going to add a little pocket to our 3D element. So uh, this is going to be a new extrude, and I'm going to do it negative 0.1. Now what's interesting here is it's gone red and uh, this has turned to cut. So uh, it's uh, negative 0.1 inches uh, and this is now automatically turned to a cut. So uh, here we go. It's telling us it's cutting into the object called spaceship. So that makes sense. Um, this is going to create a little pocket. So I'm going to hide the sketch again and orbit around. So that's uh, shift middle click. Um, Zoom in and out. That looks good. Uh, so now we're going to scale this whole thing. So uh, to do that, I'll select the shape I want to scale, the body, and then I'll go scale. Um, by default, this will probably show up as uniform, which would mean uh, the, th the height that we entered for our extrudes, the, um, the panel thickness, uh, would get distorted along with the object. So we're going to do a non-uniform scale. And I'm happy with my Z height, so I'll leave that at 1. And I'll make the uh, X and Y both five times as big. Okay. And zooming out, frame it up again. Uh, that's now ready to export. Um, of note, uh, Origin will not be able to cut into these little slots uh, as they become infinitely small. So this is something you'll get used to with... Uh, CNC uh, rotating cutters. So, uh, you know, the, the diameter of the cutter dictates how much detail uh, in these little inside corners you're able to cut. Um, it's also tied to how deep you can cut in a single pass. So, uh, if we're cutting with a quarter inch bit, it's just going to come up here and turn around and then do the same over here. So, uh, it won't, it just will leave this out. So, we can, we can cut this just fine. Uh, it will just omit this little detail. That's just an interesting side issue to consider. So uh, exporting to Shaper is as simple as, we're going to save this file, save as spaceship 
save. Uh, so this saves my Fusion project. Of note, that's uh, available on the cloud. Anywhere you log into a computer with Fusion on it, you can get to Spaceship. Uh, now we want an SVG to be saved from that project, so I'm going to go export to Shaper. It defaults to a uh, single face needs to be selected, um, and it needs to be facing towards the top. So we can confirm the top here, where uh, this would be uh, the flat top surface of the panel. And interestingly, we don't need to select this pocket. It's automatically going to be found by our plugin and uh, come along for the ride. Uh, it'll be color coded appropriately. Um, so we go OK, um, and then I'll call it Spaceship V2. Um, now we look at that folder. Uh, so that's great. It's created a black outline. Um, so that means cut on the outside. So the silhouette will go around that. And then the uh, circle is gray. So that's a pocket. So it's gonna, we're going to be able to mill that down to a specific height, um, which is exactly what we've asked it to do here. So that's ready to drop on a thumb drive and cut with Origin. Okay, so uh, take a thumb drive, drop it in the side there. Uh, we've scanned this in, so it's just a matter of going Add File, USB. There's a spaceship appropriately scaled, so uh, we'll place it. Uh, you'll notice it's working like a mouse. Um, now we're going to move to cut mode uh, and I've already set a quarter inch cutter and we're not going to touch off uh, and we're doing an air cut. So uh, this will just give us a quick idea of what we've basically just created in Fusion. Um, so that would be me pocketing out that little window. So you cut the interior details first um, and then we'll do the silhouette cut. Uh, plunge down. Now you'll notice here the details where we said that little corner will be difficult to get to. Uh, this is all fine. And that detail we won't, uh, we won't cut in there. Because uh, our cutter, you'll see the diameter of the cutter is too wide to get in there. So uh, it's all pretty straightforward stuff. And back to the beginning. There we go. So uh, I'll zoom out and we can see that. That's our little spaceship.